Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're going to talk about estimating complex calculations. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to, uh, for us to be able to estimate complex calculations by rounding to one significant figure. Now if you're not sure about rounding to one significant figure, make sure you look at the, uh, the website for the video on rounding to significant figures. We need that skill before we can do the following. This is going to be the first out of two videos on this, by the way. So, let's begin. Suppose we were asked to estimate uh, 38.6 multiplied by 12.2. Now, the key is here, we're asked to estimate. In the exam, make sure you pick up this word. Estimate means, okay, um, you know, uh, work out an approximate answer. So we want to know roughly what the answer will be. This is opposed to a question that might say evaluate, evaluate, and those questions actually mean find the exact answer. Okay, so we must be sure to read the question carefully. Is it an estimate question or is it an evaluate question? And in this video, we're talking about estimation. So we have to estimate the following. And in real life, it's really useful, a skill, to be able to roughly know what the answer will be without having to work it out precisely. Okay, what we do, there are steps to this. The first step is you round each number in the calculation to one significant figure. So you'll get a mark for doing the round it. And secondly, you work out approximate answer. So let's do that. This here that we're trying to work out, we're going to use this sign here. This means it's approximately equal to, and we're going to round each of these. Now, we're going to round them to one significant figure. So this is the first significant figure in the first number. This is the first significant figure in the second number. And you'll remember that what we do is, because the first significant figure is in the tens column, what's the nearest 10 to 38.6, uh, well it's 40, and we multiply that by the nearest 10 to 12.2, which is clearly 10. And 40 multiplied by 10, you should know, is equal to 400. Okay, suppose you're a little bit confused about where I got 400 from. I just wanted to take a second to show you the place value and why 40 multiplied by 10 is 400. So, what we're trying to do, this is just a bit of side working, is 40 multiplied by 10. And we know that this relates to the calculation. This is like the calculation 4 multiplied by 1, isn't it? 4 multiplied by 1 is clearly 4. We all know that. Now, how does 40 multiplied by 10 relate to 4 multiplied by 1? Well, the because the 4 is multiplied by 10 to get 40, and the 1 is multiplied by 10 to get um uh, 10, we know that the answer of 4 must be multiplied by 10 once and be multiplied by 10 another time, or like multiplying by 100. So we know that 40 multiplied by 10 certainly has a, a first digit of 4 in it. And I'm going to put a decimal point after the uh, after 4 just to be able to, for me to think about the place value. Because I multiplied by 10, I'm going to move the digits uh, to the left by 1. Because I multiply by the other 10, I'm going to move the digits to the left by another one here. And we know, therefore, that the answer is going to be equal to 400. Okay, And that's your explanation of why the above is true, just in case you were unsure. Let's do the next example. 4,897 multiplied by 38, trying to estimate it. Make sure you put your comma in here in the thousand. It really does help with your place value. Okay, so the first step is we round everything to one significant figure. The four in the thousands column is the first significant is indicates the first significant figure, and the three in the tens column indicates the first significant figure in the next number. And what we're going to do is we're going to round each of these numbers to one significant figure. So the nearest thousand to four thousand eight hundred ninety-seven is clearly five thousand. And the nearest thousand, uh, 10 even, to 38 is 40. So we're trying to work out where it's approximately equal to 5,000 multiplied by 40. 
this is equal to 200,000. Okay, and just in case you're unsure here of where I got this from, let's just go through the place value for this. We're trying to work out 5,000 multiplied by 40. And we know it relates to 5 multiplied by 4 because of the 5 and 4 digits being the same. We know 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to 20. So we certainly know that our answer to 5,000 multiplied by 40 must start with 20. And I'm going to put a decimal point there just for our place value that we're going to count. Now, um, I know that um, this, the answer to 5,000 multiplied by 40 must be 1,000 times bigger because 5 has to be multiplied by 1,000 to get 5,000 and must be 10 times bigger because 4 multiplied by 10 is 40. So overall, we've got to multiply our answer first by 1,000 and then by 10, or we can think of this as multiplying our whole answer by 10,000. So we're going to do that. So our answer of 20, we're going to multiply it by 1,000 first, so we're going to move the digits 1, 2, and 3 places um, to the left, and that's going to uh, have 1, 2, 3 zeros there for us. And by multiplying by this 10, we're going to move the digits one further place here, and it's going to uh, give us another zero here. So the answer is 200,000. Our decimal point should have actually moved with it. It's 200,000. And there's the answer to the second one. The next example has a division in it, but the same principle applies. Step one, round everything to one significant figure. So I'm actually going to uh, quickly go through this, this here. I'm indicating what digits represent the significant figures in each of the part components of this. And I'm going to say that this calculation is therefore approximately equal to 40 multiplied by 20, all of that divided by 20. At this stage, we can multiply the top out, and this would be equal to um, 800 divided by 20. And um, what we could do with this fraction here is they both have a factor of 10 in them. We could uh, divide the numerator and denominator by 10 so that this would be equal to 80 divided by 2. And 80 divided by 2 is equal to 40. We could have actually been slightly clever at this stage here. If you notice at this stage here, there was a factor of 20 on the numerator and the denominator. So we could have divided the top and bottom by 20, or some people say cancel the 20 from top and bottom, and we would have known straight away that the answer was equal to 40. Now it's time for you to do three questions to practice yourself. Pause the video, I'll show you the answers in five seconds. So I wanted you to estimate those answers by rounding to one significant figure and then working out. Here are my answers. The first one, y well, approximated as 300 multiplied by 20, which was 6,000. The second one I approximated as 60 divided by 6, which was equal to 10. And the last one I approximated as 800 divided by 100, which was equal to 8. And that's all for this video. I hope you found it useful in your revision. Thanks for watching.